Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating. Hi, Sonia. What are you doing, teacher Sonia? Students, I am singing the nursery rhyme Five Little Speckled Frogs. Why don't you sing along with me? <laughs> probably wondering why teacher Sonia is singing nursery rhymes. Nursery rhymes are for babies. Well, the first reason is that I love singing nursery rhymes. In fact, I remember almost every nursery rhyme taught to me in school. But that's not the reason why I started with the five little speckled frogs. You must have guessed by now. Yes, the second reason is because today we are going to do the first poem in our Gulmohar, A Frog in a Well by Alice Shirtle. Now, you are going to read along with me, so why don't you quickly grab your readers and let's get started. Are you ready? A Frog in a Well by Alice Shirtle. The world is round and deep and cool. The bottom of the world's a pool with just enough room for a frog alone. The walls of the world are of stone on stone at the top of the world, when I look up high, I can see a star in a little round sky. Let's read once again. A Frog in a Well by Alice Shirtle. The world is round and deep and cool. The bottom of the world's a pool with just enough room for a frog alone. The walls of the world 
are of stone on stone at the top of the world when I look up high I can see a star in the little round sky now you probably already know that the poem is about a frog but what is the frog trying to tell us well yes the frog is telling us how it sees the world and the world and what the world according to the frog is well let's see what the frog thinks of the world the first line the world is round and deep and cool what is round and deep and cool is it a pot is it a bucket is it a bottle well yes it's a well frogs love living in wells the bottom of the world's a pool right at the bottom of the well there's a pool of water with just enough room for a frog alone now this well has no room for anybody else just this frog alone and the walls of the well are made of stone on stone like any other well at the top of the world when I look up high who is this I yes it's the frog so when the frog is at the bottom of the well and he looks up high what does he see I can see a star in a little round sky so the frog is telling us what the world looks like but is this what the world is like is it so little is the sky so little now I have a question for you students if you were a frog what would you do would you continue living in this well in this little world and although it appears the frog is very content he's happy he's got everything he wants a nice round deep hole and enough water for it to swim in and it's all by itself with nobody to bother it so would you want to live in a, in a, in a world like this or would you choose to jump out and explore the beautiful world because there are so many wonderful things to see and amazing places to go and interesting things to do well yes what we learn today from this poem is we should not confine us to the little world around us but we should go out there we should be bold enough and brave enough to explore this beautiful world because it's a wonderful place to be in that's a really wonderful poem now as you all know most poems have a rhyming scheme that is rhyming words rhyming words are nothing but words that have a similar ending sound so let's find all the words that rhyme in this poem let's see the first two lines the world is round and deep and cool the bottom of the world's a pool what do you think the words that rhyme are here yes it's cool and pool with just enough room for a frog alone the walls of the world are of stone on stone well yes it's alone and stone at the top of the world when I look up high I can see a star in a little round sky and the third set yes is high and sky now there are other words out here of course which don't have rhyming words but maybe you can find the words and find a set of rhyming words which go along with those words for example the first line the world is round what rhymes with round ground so you can find many words in the poem and words that try and identify words that rhyme with those words as well before I leave I have another interesting video for you to watch make sure you watch it because you'll be learning about it I will see you soon again with another poem until then take care be safe how a frog becomes a frog I love to go fishing at the park near my house there are lots of animals that live around the pond not just fish you see insects like dragonflies butterflies, even itchy mosquitoes, and birds like ducks and herons. One day when I was there with my grandpa, I noticed a bunch of bubbles attached to a leaf in the water. Grandpa said they weren't bubbles at all. 
tiny balls were frog eggs. Frogs are amphibians. They can breathe underwater through their skin. They also have lungs like people and can breathe air. When we got home, Grandpa taught me even more about frogs. We visited the pond all summer to watch what happens to the eggs. It's called metamorphosis. When the eggs hatch, the baby frogs sort of look like fish. They're called tadpoles. The tadpoles swim around the pond happily and eventually grow cute little legs to go with their long tails. Over time, the tadpoles' tails get much smaller and their legs get bigger and stronger. They still live in the water, but now they're called froglets. A few months after the tadpoles hatch from their eggs, the froglets' tails disappear and they climb out of the water. Now they are officially grown-up frogs. They spend a lot of time hopping around, but they like to hang out in the pond too. Now when I go fishing, my frog buddies are always there to greet me. Can you think of other animals and plants that change as they grow?